Hey, how's it going? And today I was inspired to do this video to make a, a star field, not just a 2D star field, but a 3D star field. I did a video earlier on making a star field, but it was just a two dimensional one. And I was looking at some other videos and I saw it's possible to combine the 2D with the 3D to really create a really cool star field with a lot of depth and realism to it. So that's what we're going to do today. So this is kind of borrowing from my previous video on making a star field, but it's adding a bit of a twist. So I'm starting off here in Modeler and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to Ball and I'm just going to drag here just to get something registered and I'm going to go to Numeric and we're just going to make ourselves a 10 millimeter ball, really small. So 10 mm and 10 mm. If you want to center it, I guess you could center it and go to zero and then just hit enter, close this and spacebar to commit. And then just go ahead and save it. Save object as, we'll just call it a star one. Okay, and save. And then we should be able to, we can synchronize with layout and then we're gonna send object to layout. And that's it. It looks big there, doesn't it? So what we can do here is go to VPR for a second. Let me just turn off the gradient backdrop. There we go. Okay. So I think I, if I go in the surface editor, let me do a couple things real fast. Let me turn on smoothing. We'll turn off specularity. We'll turn luminosity to 100. And we'll change the color to white. And there's that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into camera here. Let me go to camera view. And I'm just going to back up a little bit there. Maybe like that and I'm just going to go back into texture shaded solid okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we're on the object and we're going to go to properties and we're going to go to instancer add instancer double click this and add object star one we'll double click this and we'll go to polygons and under instances we're going to type 500 and then let's see here, what are we going to do? For random, we're going to put uh, 50, whoops, 50, and 150. And let's see, we're going to offset this, I believe. Yeah, so we're going to go to offset here, and we're going to go 15 meters, 15 and 15. And I think that's about it for our star field. So I'm pretty sure what I want to do now is reposition the camera so that we can kind of see what I got there. So on my heading, let me see what I got here. I'm actually going off some notes here. So, okay, let's see. So there's my stars. And I think, well, that was my, was that my way? My heading. There's my heading. And let me pitch. Because I want to get these stars in my view. And then while I'm at it, while I'm on camera, I might as well go to high definition right there. Like that. Okay. If I go to perspective, I can maybe get a, no, you can't really see anything from there, can you? So I guess we're stuck in the camera view to look at this. Okay, so now if I go into VPR, you can see that's just these, kind of these actually stars are kind of big. So let me go back into camera. Let me pull back a little bit there. I don't want the stars so big. So I want to just readjust things so that uh, the stars aren't so big, but that they're in the in my view. So it's a limited field of them, but I'm not going to be flying that. You'll see in a minute. I'm not going to be flying. I guess I could punch in a little bit there. Yeah, that looks good to me. So these are the stars that will create the three-dimensional part of it. So that's basically the key component of this. Now all we got to do is just go into our backdrop. If we go to backdrop here, backdrop, and we go to add environment, texture and environment. We'll double click this, we'll double click 
that. And now this is very similar to what, yeah, I don't know if you saw the other Starfield video that I did, but we just have to add some things here. So the first thing we're going to do is if I come here, I'm going to go to procedural and I'm going to go to, oh no, I don't want to mess with the blending mode. I want to go to, it's crust, right? It's, let me see. Hold on one sec. Yeah, it's crust. So I've been playing around with these because when I did this before, some of my textures were, were, my stars were too big. So I've gone back and adjusted some of these. So I'll go to crust. You see, you can see how big they are, right? So on the, and this will cover the whole backdrop. So on this one for coverage, we're going to go 0. 0.0005. And then on the ledge level for this one, I did 0.2. And for this one, for this, I did 0 0.01. So all these settings can be messed with. And then under scale, I actually did some more adjustments. I did three, three, three. There we go. So this is uh, pretty faint. Oh, that's negative one. That can't be right. So negative 0 0.01. There we go. So this is just real subtle fact there, and everything's good there, point two. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go add layer, procedural, and we're going to add another crust. And on this one, let's see what we got. We're going to go point zero 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 nine. And the ledge level on this one is 0.2, and this is 0.1, and the scale here I have 10, 10, and 20. 20, oh, this is millimeters. Let's see, millimeters. Sorry about that. This one is millimeters too. Okay. Let me see on this first one, on this other one. Did I have that on millimeters? No, those are meters. Okay. So playing with these really affects the layout of everything. And on the color you can change. You can play around with all these. These aren't always carved in stone. I mean, that's white. So I see that thing again down there. So... I'm going to adjust my camera position a little bit here just to get that out of my view. So that's a pretty dense star filled right there. Actually, I think that looks pretty good, to be honest. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to add some uh, fractal noise here. So we're going to go back into backdrop, whoops, backdrop, textured, environment, texture, and we're add layer procedural. You can do turbulence since that's the first one that popped up. And we're gonna set this to 3.5. And we're gonna set this color to blue. You can try different colors on this. Now frequencies, I have the contrast at 20% and the small power and everything else is the same. I just thought this added a nice look to it. And then we'll go add one more layer. We're going to go procedural. And this one, we're going to add fractal noise. It's right there. And then this opacity is 1.5 or, you know, 2, whatever. Let's just put 2 in there. And then frequencies here, I put in 12. The Kai had a dark blue in here, a darker blue there. And the contrast is 20. And the small power is 0.4. And that was that. And that's basically it. Now, if you were to do a test fly through on this, now I can take this to 500. And I can move this to the end. And I don't think you need to make sure you're on camera. You don't have to push in very far, but you could just move in. Well, just to have some camera movement there. 
and that that should do it just move the camera a little bit and I'll have to render this out to know so let me stop right now and I'm gonna render this out real quick this renders out really fast so let's stop right now and I'll show you what we got hey how's it going so I rendered this out it does, it's only about five seconds long but you can see that it gives a nice three-dimensional effect and you're free to move the camera in a little bit different direction if you want to get a little different effect from the the moving stars the 3d stars I forgot to mention that you can also add glow on here just go into backdrop you go into backdrop processing add image filter and you could add a glow and just put it at 70% and that's a nice little effect so anyway like I said you could change or adjust your camera direction a little bit to give a little bit different feeling for the stars the 3d stars that are moving and that's it so I'm gonna wrap this up right here I'm gonna add in kind of a part two a, a nebulous a nebulous cloud to this backdrop and so you feel free to watch that and I, I hope you found this helpful as always thanks so much for watching and I will talk to you later take care